Come on, you guys. Work down, down that way. Okay. And just slide, just slide your rack, just slide it along. Okay. Okay. On this side? Yeah. Okay, there, come down this way. And <laughs> These are the basic two types of spears. Uh, one is a summer fishery and one is a, a winter fishery. These are winter spears and they're different types. But you notice they all have hooks on them. As you keep jabbing, depending on how you're doing it, you're going to hit a needle. You're going to hit him somewhere with the spear and he's going to slip in between these two prongs. Mm -hmm and you're gonna drive into the mud. And then when you pull the spear out of the mud, you're gonna hook them on the hook, and you'll feel the weight. Then you haul that spear out really quick. So when you do this, you, you go right straight through to get a nice flat. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, flip it. So you grab another piece of that. Okay, maybe you can shape that down a little more with that. Yep. This is a summer fishery. It's a, a Mi'kmaq design and you'd have a, a bone prong. But the modern thing is the steel barb in the middle. You spear them and these open up and the eel gets caught in here, held in with the barb and you can't slip out. So in making these spears, you basically carve out sticks out of ash or yellow birch. And this was a pitchfork. When they go on the pole, they will be the right distance apart. Okay, so we're gonna make these things. When you see an eel, these guide the eel into the prong. So we're gonna to split this. Sometimes it's hard to teach all kids how to make this one spear because one struggles with one component, like making the wood part of it. Somebody else may be really good at making the steel part of it. The other one may know where to find poles. But I told them, you all have to get together and make this in the future. You know this part, you know that part. Remember who knows what and get together and do it as a communal, as a people. Get together and do it. Mm -hmm.